what we see in the brain when we do fMRI studies of people on an SSRI like escitalopram or Lexapro, we see that the brain's blunted in how it responds to emotional stimuli more specifically emotional faces. We showed that quite recently in a study published in the American Journal of Psychiatry. And in that very same study, which was the head-to-head that you were alluding to, Paul, we also looked at how psilocybin therapy impacted brain responsiveness and actually found that the two treatments were quite distinct. In that particular measure or task of looking at emotional faces, Funnily enough, it was the SSRI that had the bigger effect, and it was a generalized blunting of brain responsiveness to neutral, happy, and fearful faces. The psilocybin therapy didn't have such a big effect. The only effect we saw was in the domain of neutral faces. So, yeah, (laughs) that's not neutral, is it? And no smile, no sad expression, no angry expression, just a flat expression. And actually, the brain was more responsive to those neutral expressions, which was kind of curious. So in a sense, the brain was more responsive, generally, to faces, you might say, after psilocybin therapy. And more specifically, it was actually three weeks after the second of two big doses of psilocybin therapy as a treatment for depression in this study. So what's the short story there? Well, the SSRI will sort of blunt responsivity and especially emotional responsivity. And if psilocybin therapy does anything to that, it's more of a, you might say, a release or a reset or recalibration or reboot of emotional responsivity. And that actually resonates quite nicely what we see phenomenologically or psychologically when we just ask people, what's it like when you get psilocybin therapy for depression? Versus what's it like when you get an SSRI as a treatment for depression? 